Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things, the drag flick. Obviously nowadays a really important part of our game and today we're going to take you through the basics and try and show you how we're going to drag flick the ball. Alright, so before we get started on how to drag flick the ball, let's just take it back to the basics and try and explain what a drag flick actually is. Uh, because we're not just doing something, we're actually dragging and flicking the ball, but what does it mean? Well, in the basic part of the, of the name of the drag flick, the drag part is quite easy. We're dragging the ball along to get more speed. However, eventually the flick part is what gives the ball the most speed and why it's actually a drag flick and not just a push pass is the ball rolls from the middle of the stick off the edge of the stick. So that's the first part we need to know. A drag flick is where the ball rolls off to the edge of the stick and gets a turning spin and speed. All right, so step one with the drag flick. How do we hold our stick? The usually uh, setup is where you've got your right hand about fairly low towards the bottom of the grip. And you can decide whether you want it to be around here or around there. That's the most important thing. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and create a 90 degree angle by bringing our left knuckles against our underarm, like this, to create this 90 degree angle. All right, so step two is what do we do with our feet? It's quite important to know that your left foot is always going to be your starting point when you're going to take your first step. The way you position close to the ball or a little bit further away all depends on what you prefer. However, your left foot is always going to be the first balance point when the drag flick starts. So we place our left foot around there. Then what you want to do is you want to take your right foot and you want to go behind. You can also go in front. However, most people go behind and I go behind, so we're going to take it from there. So if you go behind, you have your cross step. When you get this cross step going, that's when you actually have your stick by the ball. We have our 90 degrees and we're going to step out with our left foot as far as we can to get the drag going. And then from here, you release the ball. So step three is where we're going to combine the two. So we know what we're doing with our hands and with our stick. We know what we're doing with our feet. Now what you want to do is you want to get a nice flow going and a nice motion so you can combine the two. What's important is that you don't move the ball too quick before your footwork comes in. But what you want to do is you want to leave the ball until after you make the cross step and the big step because then you get power from all the way to the right, all the way to the left and you're throwing the ball through your entire body. It looks like this. So when you're starting off with drag flicks, before you take a long uh, run up and you try and do the whole thing at once, Try and break it down and do this step first because this will really help you get hang of the flick and then after that we can add on uh, the run that you make before. Position your left foot near the ball, just about one foot in between. Place your right foot behind and from here try and get the hang of the step and the drag. So the step is as far as you can and from here you're going to try and roll and try and really get the release off the stick. If you practice that first That'll work really well and try and get the full, stick, full drag flick going. So, step in behind, take one big step with your left foot and then drag. Alright, one piece of advice I'd like to give you when practicing your drag flicks is try to not let the ball get too far away from you. If you have to stretch your arms like this far to put power when your arms are completely stretched is really difficult because it's very difficult to get a lot of power and pressure on the ball. If you're more close to the ball and you have it here, from here, because you're close to the ball and the ball is close to your body, it's easier to get more power. All right, so I have a little challenge for you guys back home. You take four balls, you try and aim in all four corners and see how many you can hit. I'm gonna give it a go. Alright, thanks for watching that video. 
I hope you thought it was useful. Two things I want you guys to take into mind. First of all, everybody has their own way of doing the drag flick and that's fine. If you have the basics, try and add what suits you and what you find comfortable and you'll get the best drag flick that you can make. Second of all, don't practice too many balls at, in one session because it can be quite hard on the body. So ask your local coaches on how many you need to do, all depending on how often you've been drag flicking. Uh, I try to keep it under 30 balls a day uh, and that's the way I do it. So take care and uh, see you guys next week. Bye bye.